Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome. This is J90278, and we are going to build Oblivion. This is a PvP team deathmatch game. Two players are loaded into the pod. Uh, one player here, that's you, and then your opponent, your, uh, your teammate. And then over here, you have your other players, and there's eight pods, so you can have a full lobby. And when you flip the lever, everybody will drop down and set their spawn. You want it to be night. Everybody sets their spawn. They go into the chest. We're going to talk about what items are going to go in the chest. And then you pass through the passageway. All right, you and your teammate. Now, once you and your teammate go down, you realize that now this light is lit. This means you've used one of your spawns. So what I suggest you do is go across together when you first leave the match. All right, so now you're in the game. You're still gonna get 10 lives. Don't worry, just if launched, okay, you light. You fight, and you fight, and you die. When you die, you respawn in your bed. Hello, I'm back. I'm alive. You go back into the battle immediately. Oh, uh, nobody spawn trapping me, thank God. All right, so now I have two lights lit. Well, what happens when you die again is you respawn, your partner dies, you, you respawn in here. And let's hit this a few times. Four times, five times, six times. Hopefully we don't break it. It's not breaking, okay. <laughs> don't want to hit it too fast. All right. This is it. All right, let's take a look. Got eight lives used. All right, so that means you've got, you're going to spawn two more times. And your next respawn, you will your base will blow up so that means you've got two respawns left let's use those two respawns alright so you're out here all the lights are lit so the next time you die your base is gonna blow up alright so here let's blow up our base here I hear the dynamite want to get away all right now everybody knows you're on your last life your bed is gone if you die you will respawn at the spawn point which ought to be somewhere far away from here all right so that's a good example all right we're gonna cheat you all the redstone the pods everything um, here's a little added bonus if you place players in here and they want to start early and they break their pod they're gonna get a big fat surprise and this is just to trap them so that they can't they can't get out and uh, jump into the battle they'll come over here they can't set their spawn but they won't die necessarily what happens is if I throw the lever and start the game everyone's pod will open hopefully my redstone isn't broken yeah that worked alright so all the pods are now open and the lava has gone away and no lava fell out of this pod the lava has gone so that's how the pods work they all launch at the very same time those are your scoreboards and now the arena this is called the Coliseum style arena you just have everything symmetrical little little stands up here in front of the in front of your base and you can fight it out fight it out but you can also build Nuketown something like that you could do paintball Here's a paintball arena. Just random items in the middle. 
You could do some kind of Star Wars theme. I have this giant pixel art inside of here. Not quite finished with that one. Here's the planet Endor, right? You remember Star Wars and the Ewok Village? Now this is a lot of fun, guys. You get 10 lives per team, and the last team standing wins. And it only takes about 15 minutes or so for a, a decent set of players to kill each other off. All right, so we have a tutorial for the 101 circle. And what we've done is we built our circle and then we went around the outside edge, just the very outside edge, and we put in black, uh, we put in bedrock. All right, we filled in our circle, and around the outside edge, we placed bedrock. Now, in the circle, I showed you overlapping corners, but as you can see here, we did not overlap our corners. Uh, we just ran around the outside edge, just like that. All right, and then we filled it up with glowstone. Filled up the whole floor and filled up all the walls with glowstone. So take that tutorial, the 101 circle. Make your circle, fill it up with bedrock and fill it up with glowstone. You can bring you some friends. Now we're done with that. Let's get into it. We're going to need our redstone lamps. We're going to need repeaters. Uh, we're going to need redstone, redstone block, some sand, and piston, a sticky piston. And this is all on creative, so I don't have the quantities here, so let's just go ahead and start building it. Now on the outside edge, uh, I mean on the wide part here, we have 15 blocks. That's where we're going to place our launcher. So somewhere close to the middle here, I'm going to just place 13, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now that's where the scoreboard's going to go. I got this scoreboard nice and high so you can see it. Uh, you can make your walls shorter. That will just bring your scoreboard closer to the ground. Um, 13 blocks down from the top. Uh, let's go ahead and make it 15. All right, just a little change right there. 15 blocks. All right, 15 blocks down. And on either side of this block, we're going to place these... Uh, lamps right these are these are uh, redstone lamps i'm going to leave a space here of two we want ten lamps so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and i have a gap of three over here all right that's going to work out good for me go ahead and break this piece of glowstone and break this piece of bedrock oh man So we're going to come over here and we're going to place 15 blocks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Alright, that's just in the middle of one of these uh, 15 wide bays. Alright. So, we want to break the last one here and break the glowstone across here um, until we have 
I have two over here, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, you want to break ten of those and fill those up with your lamps, your redstone lamps. All right, now I've got three gap over here. All right, go ahead and remove these blocks. Down here on the left side, we're going to break the lamp and break the bedrock. All right, we're going to go ahead and come over here. And behind all of these lamps, we're going to break the bedrock. All right, plus one, two, three blocks on this side. That's when we get out our sticky piston. Oh, not a regular, we want a regular, no, we want a regular piston. Not a sticky piston. A regular piston. You place it right here. Two, two blocks away from your redstone lamp. All right, that is where our redstone block is gonna go. Above the redstone block, break all of these all the way up uh, in this case all the way up because we're going to place the sand here we're going to place as many pieces of sand as you want lives and that's going to be 10 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 Eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> I'm gonna add extra because that really doesn't determine how many lives you have. Okay, where you place this block determines where how many lives you have. And right where we have this open hole, I'm gonna go place a glowstone right here, and we're gonna place a piece of bedrock right there. And a repeater going away from it, like so. All right, that's your electrode for your ignition. That's going to fire off your your base. And over here, where it starts, we need to power up this piston. So we're going to place three blocks here, and a repeater into the piston, and a repeater here without any glowstone. I mean, without any redstone right here. Mm. No redstone in between. That's just a safety measure. So. We uh, mess with that. Let's go ahead and bring out a block of choice, a block of quartz, and we're going to place quartz all along in front of these glowstone. I mean, these uh, place two blocks in front of each one of the lamps. And we're going to place repeaters right along here. And right here we're going to place two repeaters. And we're going to place four blocks in a square right here. Uh, no, actually only two blocks. We need a redstone torch. Place the redstone torch right here. That lights that, and then we need to light up the rest of these repeaters to give power. So now as the redstone block travels, it will come into this circuit and light off the TNT. But in the meantime, each sand block will pass between the repeater and the lamp, it lighting each lamp. So you know where the redstone block is and how close it is to Once you have that, you need to have your ignition system. So I'm going to go ahead and place blocks across here. And in the middle of your, your 10 blocks here, uh, in the middle of here, between this redstone and this block here, I'm just going to place 
three blocks, four blocks. We're going to paste four blocks, go ahead and go three wide. Let's make five blocks, okay, just for starters. And right in the middle, we're going to break that block. And that is where, right in front of that block, we're going to place a pressure plate. All right, this is where you're going to drop down. And this is where you're going to ignite. So let's wire up this pressure plate. So we just run this right underneath the pressure plate. Okay. So yeah, it's just below the pressure plate. And we're going to put redstone on it. All the way to that repeater. Remember, don't put any redstone here. We don't want to actually fire that off. We just want to see that repeater light up when we step on it. All right, next we need our bedrock back. Now we're gonna place bedrock on either side of this, going one block past your uh, pressure plate. We're gonna add two blocks here. We're gonna build these walls up three blocks tall and put a roof on it. Alright, this way when people come through here uh, they can't jump over the pressure plate. All right? They can try, they can break the pressure plate. You got hackers that want to don't play the game right now, but we're going to play along. Alright, we're going to this. Now we're going to make room for our beds. So our beds need to go in here. So that's two rows, four rows. All right, that should give us plenty of room to put in a bed right here. Or right there. Okay, but let's go ahead and place our beds. Let's go ahead and get rid of the redstone torch. Grab a bed. And right here in front of here, one spot, a space gap, place our bread beds right there. All right. Now we need to place walls around. So this wall is going to go across here. Let's go ahead and add another row here. So we have a space behind our bed just to make people comfortable. We need that space. Alright, so there we go. Let's build up these walls so that they cannot jump out. That's it. Two blocks tall is all you need. I make these into, uh, I don't use bedrock because we want all of this to blow up with TNT. Alright, so take your bed away. We'll go ahead and put in our chests. The chest will go here and the other chest will go here. All right, that looks good. So we have this wired up. Now we need to wire up the TNT, which ought to be fun. So right here in the middle, just right about here, right, I'm gonna place a very, yeah, right there. That looks good. I'm gonna place four blocks. Break these three blocks, put in a, a piston, it doesn't have to be a sticky piston, but there we go, we'll put a redstone block on top of it, and all around it, we're going to put TNT, so the TNT cannot go here, next to this redstone, every time you step on the pressure plate, it will blow up. So we're going to leave a gap right there and go all the way across with the TNT. Go ahead and fill in this whole area. Careful not to place a piece above the redstone block. That will blow everything up you've been building. So let's just put one next to it. 
put one next to it very carefully. Alright, let's go ahead and fill this whole thing up. We want a nice big explosion. Alright, next. Uh, what we can get away with is one here diagonal of the redstone. And these three, right? We cannot place one here because it's adjacent to the redstone. We don't want it to light off, so we're going to leave a gap and place two there. All of this is red hot redstone right here. You stick a piece of TNT anywhere in here, you're immediately going to blow everything up. Don't do it. Be careful. That's all the TNT we need. Underneath each block of TNT, we're going to place a piece of bedrock. Or any block choice to be real, but I like the bedrock. Just, uh, this will make the TNT explode instead of just fall down into the water. Or whatever you have below you. Alright, let's go ahead and put a piece of bedrock on all of those pieces of TNT. If you have a spawn point or anything near this, uh, put, put blocks around the outside edge here. Uh, we don't want them to be able to shoot a flaming arrow at this TNT. Okay, that has been placed. Next we're going to wire up our piston here. So let's bring these out about five blocks. We need a block here and a block coming down this way and a block coming down this way and then we bring this straight into it oops straight into it like this right very good redstone one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen all right that should work all right, no more than 13. If you have to, move your piston closer. Anywhere underneath this TNT will set the thing off, okay? I just stuck it in the middle. Uh, you can bring it closer. All right, this is how we can test it. I'm gonna get rid of this repeater. And we're gonna place, gotta get rid of the repeater. Place a redstone block here. And you see that that is lit, and that's all you need for a repeater to go off. So we're going to go ahead and place that repeater there. Alright, that's how you test it to make sure that it's right. You can't test it any other way without blowing up your TNT. So, we have lamps ready to light. We have TNT ready and hot. <clears throat> we have our system here for counting installed. Next thing we need is pods. So we'll go ahead and build this on all four sides. And you'll be ready to have a game of oblivion. Now after You've built your pods. Let's clear our inventory and pick a color. We're going to go with red on this one. All right, duh. where is the wool? Red. And I do is I break the glowstone all around this. Careful not to break your redstone. We're going to fill this all in with our color of choice. And this one is going to be red. No block there. Okay, so that's red. So you can come onto this side, and in your chest, you're going to place. Uh, Full set of leather armor. 
I want two sets of armor and we want to color them red so let's get the red and go do 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 all right we're going to put one set in here and put one set in here next you need three swords for each box and you need two stacks of, oops wrong button one two three four five six and steak 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 two stacks of steak one for each box so one two three swords and a stack of steak one two three swords and a stack of steak next we come up here on top and we grab ourselves two dirt blocks painting we need a bow below the bow are infinity one book and over here we have flame one all right and we need an anvil All right, anvil. Here, place the books in the anvil, and you get a. Get an infinity flame one book, and you place the bow in there, and you have an infinity flame one bow. Break the anvil. Two blocks of dirt. Not paintings. I need. I need. I don't need paintings. I need item frames. Place four item frames on each dirt block. So in each item frame you place a bow. And come up here in the top, break the block and just stand in the middle here and catch all the bows that pop off. Catch all your bows. Bows and hoes. Alright, here. Boats and hose, and here we go. Inside this chest, we put a bow and one arrow. And I'll place it right there. And inside of this one, we place a bow and an arrow. So pick a different color for each, each game board you make. blue, green, orange, and fill up your item chest thus. Okay. Next step. Is going to be building the launch pads, which we're going to be in the next video. And you're going to find the link down below and hit that follow button, subscribe, 
and <clears throat> hit the like button if you like this video thanks for joining me and we're going to continue this in the next video bye peace killer man what's up man Jay, download Windows Movie Maker 12. They had the streaming awards last night. And I wasn't there. Yeah, what do you do with it? <clears throat> oh, Matt wants me to edit my videos. I'll be editing. The fuck, dude, I gotta build this three more times. Hey guys, I gotta I gotta run to the dispensary. Hey, what's up, Juliana? Create an open party. People are going to be curious why you know the size of my penis. Twenty-eight percent? Twenty-eight point something?
Oh shit, I did forget something. Okay, after you get your chest filled, go ahead and come down here to the drop. Drop down. Oh, all right. You want to be right up, right underneath here. You want to go up two blocks and break it. Uh, that's not two blocks. Right there. Right, even with the floor, you see. All right, so on either side of this, we put in blocks like that. Uh, and then we do two blocks here, two blocks here, and then we do four blocks here, and block on either side. And we build these up all the way to in between, just to there. We don't want to put a block in here because it'll block the TNT for blowing up your uh, your thing. So right here, we're going to go ahead and build this up all the way to uh, just in between here, just so that they can fall through. And then I'll back here, place a block, break this block. Yeah, you want to build, you want to build a little place to put water. So let's go ahead and put a thing of water right there. And build this up to there. Just like that. Now you have your chute. And that should complete it. Uh, as far as the underside goes, next is going to be the droppers. But first, you need to place one of these on all sides. We're working on this one, and you go ahead and work on all three of the others. Once you get all of this complete, we're going to continue with the dropper system. <laughs> 